Hello, this is Dr. Arshi Hashmi, dentist by profession, and uh, welcome to An Academy. Today, I'll be teaching you the overview of dental anatomy, that is the introduction part, the tooth numbering system, and uh, other landmarks of the tooth. Starting with the introduction of dental anatomy, let me ask you a question: What is dental anatomy in this you learn about the morphology of various teeth like their shapes their shape structure color form and so on introduction of dental anatomy basically there are two sets of teeth the primary dentition also known as deciduous teeth or the permanent dentition primary starts basically from 6 to 13 months of age while the permanent teeth or succedaneous teeth starts from 6 years in between the two phases there is one more phase that is the mixed dentition phase also known as transition phase in this the primary teeth starts shedding and the permanent teeth starts erupting this phase is normally from 6 to 12 years in between 6 to 12 years now I'll be starting with the primary dentition that that is the deciduous teeth. The there are two jaws, the maxilla, the upper jaw, and the mandible, which is the lower jaw. The maxilla in decidi deciduous teeth have the following teeth. This is the mid sagittal line and uh, this your first teeth in your arch will be the central incisor then comes the lateral incisor next to central incisor and then the canine and then your two molars that is your first molar and the second molar in this diagram you can easily differentiate the quadrants and the arches the upper arch that is the maxillary arch the lower arch that is the mandible arch and the upper is again divided into two the right quadrant the left quadrant again in the lower the same thing the right quadrant and the left quadrant in the upper maxilla you can see on the right side there are five teeth and again on the left there is five teeth same is in the lower region now remember the names again of these five teeth the first two are the incisors the first is the central then becomes the lateral then comes the canine the sharp tooth and then your molars the same in the lower thing you can divide the arch from the mid sagittal plane and then you can see the central incisor the lateral the canine and the two molars this is deciduous teeth in this formula this is the formula you have to remember for the deciduous teeth i stands for incisor c for canine m for molars as you have seen in that there are two incisors in one quadrant in one right quadrant or one left quadrant and the same is two so it becomes two incisors one canine and two molars here incisors are two by two canine are one by one and molars are two by two so, so total there are 10 in single upper and lower quadrants that is five tooth in upper quad quadrant and five tooth in the lower so total in overall arch you will be having 10 up and 10 down so total will be 20 teeth and according to the formula there are 10 in your upper arch of any one quadrant and 10 in your lower arch now going ahead with your permanent teeth the, the teeth nomenclature are the same the central incisor lateral incisor canine now here comes the two premolars in permanent teeth which are absent in your deciduous teeth 
these are first premolar and the second premolar and then again there are two molars first molar second molar and again there is one set of teeth that is third molar which is absent in your deciduous teeth same implies in your lower arch also starting with the central incisor the lateral canine then two premolars then first molar and the second molar and your third molar you can see in this quadrant also the right quadrant has central lateral can central lateral canine first premolar second premolar first molar second molar and your third molar this is your right quadrant the left quadrant of the upper arch that is the maxilla and the lower right and the lower left now here comes the formula for permanent teeth incisors i stand for incisor canine premolars and molars 2 by 2 is your incisors c here central incisor and lateral incisor in upper right quadrant and same in the lower right quadrant you can see the central and the lateral so it becomes 2 by 2 then single canine in the upper arch and the single canine in the lower arch of the right quadrants so it becomes 1 by 1 and again first and the second premolar and uh, in the same lower quadrant there will be first and the second premolar so again it becomes 2 by 2 and here molars are 3 first second and third molar in right quadrant and again in the same quadrant there are three so your formula becomes i 2 by 2 c 1 by 1 p 2 by 2 and m that is molar 3 by 3 so so total it becomes 16 16 in your upper right and lower right quadrants again 16 in your upper left and lower left quadrant so total will be your 32 remember the formula it it will be very useful to you now going ahead with the tooth numbering system starting with the universal system it was discovered in 1968 there are two sets in universal for the primary or the deciduous dentition and for the permanent dentition in deciduous this is your mid sagittal plane and then the tooth are name from a to e in one quadrant f to j in other k to o and p to t in deciduous dentition and in permanent you can see 1 to 8 one quadrant then 9 to 16 in other quadrant 17 to 24 in other third quadrant and 25 to 32 in the fourth quadrant your next slide is adolf sigmondi or palmal system here again it is divided into primary and the permanent dentition one quadrant is again divided into a to e a to e a to e and a to e there are four quadrants and permanent there are 1 to 8 and 1 to 8 i'll be explaining you this with a diagrammatic example for your easy understanding 